Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to some 10 times shared Civ bonus mod. The way this works is there are Civ bonuses. They all apply to each other, but that is multiplied by 10 times, and that can lead to some pretty ridiculous games. Now, we like to do random Civ here because we like variety. Uh, and unfortunately for the players, normally it would be fortunately, but I think unfortunately for the players, there are Gurjaras included here. And Gurjaras start with two berry bushes underneath the TC? Well, guess what? That's now 20. <laughs> so that looks like it's what? Like, that looks like eight bushes. But there actually was no space for the rest of the bushes. So I've never seen stacked berry bushes. But that's apparently what we have here. Because again, there's 20 berry bushes there. So we're going to introduce the players. Eventually, this is a King of the Hill game. So you win by controlling the monument. Um, we'll introduce the players, we'll talk about the sieves and kind of break it all down. We have lots of time to speculate, all right? So in the gray, we have Dying Wish playing as these guitars. And oh god, man, th this is like the true version of Force Nothing as well. So they're just trees right up in their business. Uh, in the blue, we have Basement Bubba, love the name, playing as the Vikings. In the purple, we have Sicilians for Intervento. In the oh, I cannot wait for First Crusade. Um, in the orange, we have Gurjaras for Band of the Hawk. In the red, we have uh, Pizza playing as the Spanish. In the teal, we've got Phoenix Rising playing as the Malay. In the green, we have Willox playing as the Celts, which is why they're chopping through the trees so quickly because Celts have a wood chopping bonus, and now everyone gets that wood chopping bonus times ten. And then last but not least, we have uh, Berbers for the moderator, which I think would also make villagers faster than two. And I think it's 5% faster in Dark Age, but 10% faster in Feudal. So we're going to have some pretty speedy villagers here. So they have 1,200 stone in the bank. They're talking about this right now. And the reason they have 1,200 stone in the bank is because Sicilians start with extra stone. <laughs> so Sicilians starting with 100 extra stone led to 1,000 extra stone. So it's just kind of funny how those bonuses play out. So what we've done here is this, guys, because we want all the bonuses to clash and work together, but we also want these players to be able to fight uh, against each other in a free-for-all format, is they are all currently allied, okay? And then at the 45-minute mark, that's hopefully where it's going to work out, uh, then everyone has to then enemy. And the goal is that everyone will have researched their unique techs in their castle prior to that point. If they don't, I may need to intervene. The last time we had Mayans involved, and Mayan resources last longer. So it kind of... I think it took longer to get the job done in that game than it will in this game. Okay, so let's go through each Civ, talk about the unique text, and how that could be helpful here. Uh, Berbers, you have the Kazba upgrade, which means your castles work faster. So the castles are going to produce really fast. And then you have Magrabi Camels where your camels regenerate HP. That could be really sick. I assume that stacks. I've actually never seen Magrabi camels in action. Um, there's not many other camel civilizations, but that's kind of a cool one there. Um, in the gray, we have Tatars. Yes. Now, yes. Tatars, oh my god. Tatars get two sheep per new town center. So that's going to be quite a few more sheep. They also get more food on their sheep. So there's going to be a whole lot of food in this Forest Nothing game. Um, so that's that's not even a unique tech yet. Um, trebuchets get plus two range, right? Or is it plus one? I always forget. They have a unique tech that unlocks flaming camels and also adds treb range. And then the other one is extra pierce armor on the hussar line. So that could be cool. Um, for the Vikings... Oh, actually, Vikings changed a bit recently. So they changed the, the unique text for the Vikings. So chieftains, it, it gives you it gives your infantry a bonus attack against cavalry, but it also yes. gives you a trickle of gold for like killing villagers or killing. I think it's just raiding economy. So I guess that could give you a lot of gold income in some way. That's pretty cool. Um, and then the other one for Vikings, and I guess this is the new one. You get plus one attack on your archer line. 
So that could be like plus 10 attack or some crazy archers. Uh, in the purple, we've got then the Sicilians. I think Sicilians, just because they're the most gimmicky of all these civs here, they kind of fit this in terms of excitement more than the others. Hallberg adds uh, lots of armor to their cav. But then um, First Crusade gives you... Is it, is it seven or did they change it to five? It's been all over the place over the years. But anyways, it gives you, I think, seven sergeants for free spawning out of each town center. So if it is seven, unless they change it to five, again, it used to be more, more than that. You're getting 70 per TC. Oh, it's five now? Okay, so 50 per TC. Up to five TCs. You could get 250 units spawning for free. Which is like pretty ridiculous in a king of the hill game when you might want units but wait only intervento can research first crusade so only he gets to benefit from that so ooh, it's kind of like the camel upgrade for the berbers there's not many civs here that can actually make camels so oh man oh god guys i just oh I, ideas are coming to me okay gurjaras they get frontier guards frontier guards gives you uh, lots of melee armor on your camels that would apply to other camels, obviously. Um, and Shulker's saying that maybe other people get the sergeants too. That'd be cool. Okay. Unique tech affects the other team, so we could have sergeants everywhere. Great. Love it. Whoa, where'd your TC go? Oh, he wants to make a market. Okay. That's a strat. Let's watch his resources. Resources are at the bottom. Okay. There he goes. He's selling so he could get gold. He now doesn't have the wood for a town center. He does not have the wood for a town center. No. He is seven wood short. <laughs> Better make a lumber camp than hope nobody saw it. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, shoot, I'm getting distracted. I'm so sorry. Okay. So they get frontier guards, so lots of armor on the camels. And then, shoot, what's the other one? For good jars. Um... Uh... I don't want to look at chat. I should know this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they build instantly. It builds instantly because of the Sicilian bonus. That was hilarious. Okay. I, I like blinked and it was up. Oh, no. Oh, it's 25% off on food cost for their military. Which would basically mean that all your food military is free. Well, that's pretty sick. You're just spending gold for it then. Okay, Spanish. Uh, blacksmith upgrades don't cost gold already. So that's huge. Mm. When you research a tech, you get some gold. You get 20 gold. So that's, I guess, 200 gold. That's cool. Supremacy is going to be insane. The villagers are already really strong in this mode. So their villagers will be strong. And then if there's monks out there, Inquisition means the conversions are probably almost instant. So, all right, cool, cool. Um, in the teal, then, we got Malay, Horse Levy, Infantry only costs food. You can't multiply that, so that's kind of lame. And then the other one, it may, your docks. Oh, God, this sieve sucks for this. Their docks um, shoot arrows, and you can't even dock here. So that's, like, one of the worst sieves to get. Celts, obviously, we chop wood faster. We already established that. Players have been able to make a lot of space because of it. If you're a Celtica, their Siege has more HP. Siege will be very strong here. Siege also fires faster with the Celts, so inherently it's going to be good for Siege. And then Stronghold, man. Stronghold. She Stronghold, you heal now. Your castles heal. And also Towers and Castles fire faster with Stronghold. So I could see Towers and Siege being great. Also, oh, people are saying if infantry is food only and then food is free, then the infantry is free. Ah, that combination could mean that melee affects the rest of the game. We could see a lot of infantry. True. Okay, so yes. am I missing any ideas? Could people in my chat here maybe bring up some thoughts here? Because there's always something. I'm banking on scorpions being really strong. I can't see a way around it. Infantry could be really fast because of Celts, have lots of HP because of Vikings. Um, well, we actually have Castle Age for Hawk here. Hawk really knows what's going on. Oh, that must be Handcart coming in for free, right? 
Or do you not get handcart right away? Do you have to wait till the Vikings get handcart? How does that work? Everyone's still allied. And we see we'll see a fast imp here. Did we have encountered a pro, guys? The food count and the gold count. Insane. We are gonna see Imperial Age. Oh, and Malay's in there, so they advance instantly to the next stage. <laughs> I forgot Malay also advanced past to the next stage. Band of the Hawk says, dude, I played Force Nothing like three times. I'm just winging it. Ah, oh, what a humble brag. Yeah, bro. I, honestly, I didn't really spend that much time on this. Yeah, I'm just, I must be a natural. Yeah, I mean. You, oh, you guys actually play this all the time? Wow, I never did. I just happened to be speeding through Imp and you guys are all stuck in feudal. Come on. I know he's not trying to rub it in their faces. He is giving them tips now. And the market is is really a big part of this because it's not like they don't have resources. It's just a matter of, of playing Tetris, I guess, and getting the space. Um, so I guess now maybe Siege Onager to, to open up the area would be nice or, or just Onager. And Phoenix is saying, well, I don't have space for a market. And the tip has been shared. Just delete your town center. And again, you delete your town center, rebuild it. It's going to build instantly, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know if stronghold will affect dungeons. But what we've established is that infantry will basically be free. Hussars, and actually stable units in general, will be free because of the Berber bonus of having cheaper stable units, right? And then Siege will be strong too. So Infantry Cav is good. We don't have a lot of ranged unit bonuses. Except for, I guess, the one from the Vikings. Is there anything... I'm thinking about maybe the Chakram Thrower. I feel like maybe the Chakram Thrower for the Gurjaras could be really good. Because they'll have extra HP. They'll move around pretty fast. I don't know. Maybe maybe the HP is not that important. Anyways, I imagine we'll see Onager in here pretty shortly. I would love to see the Tatar Trebs, but even though your Trebs are going to have crazy range, I just don't know how efficient that's really going to be. Aren't just going to start opening things up here. Do they have shared vision? Yeah, they do. So they can kind of see what everyone else is doing. And that is a bug. I don't know if the players actually experience that or if that's just capture age not being able to handle this. I want to see Kelt Castles. I want to see Kelt Siege. I want to see uh, lots of infantry, obviously. I want to. I do want to see those trebuchets. I want to see Flaming Camels... That somehow heal up after exploding themselves to death. I guess that's not a possibility, right? Yeah, they get 200 gold for every tech they research because of the Spanish getting 20 gold per tech research. So their gold count's insane. They've been able to find lots of gold and food on a map that usually doesn't have gold and food. The elite upgrade gets a 10 times bonus, right? Yes. So I had actually played this with some of my mods at a meetup last week and we had like Japanese Gurjaras, Malians and um, the, the Chakrams had 15 range and I think that's just an increase from the elite upgrade so I don't know what the uh, is, is it like 3 to 5 range from standard to elite that would maybe make sense or actually no I think that's incorrect I think it might just be 3 to 4 range for the Chakram but you get a boost of 10. I think Chakrams are going to be really good. But it's not with Japanese, so you don't have the Japanese infantry attack speed. There's the Onagers now. That's the Onager firing speed. The oh my goodness! Why is that faster than I expected? <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Bloons Tower Defense, which I've mentioned a million times over the years. But I used to, uh, I used to work in the sound room and like the, um, the, um, PowerPoint room for my church. So I was supposed to flip the slides for the pastor or during the, the songs when people were singing in the congregation. 
And I would be playing Bloons Tower Defense as I did it. Um, but I never made a mistake. They never knew. I never found out until they walked in and saw I was playing Bloons Tower Defense and told me to stop. But still. Ooh, sheep with lots of food. Or so I thought. Never mind. There's not a lot of food left on these things. So we need everyone to be researching their unique techs right now. Ideally. If our 45 minute cutoff is going to work. And, I mean, they're going to have stone. So, everyone should be... As long as they can get imp, I guess, they could start researching their unique techs. Who's not an imp yet? Intervento. Does Intervento have the resources? Yep. Just... Well, it needs the food soon. That should be no problem. So, I guess the Tatars don't get 20 sheep per TC. Shulker had mentioned that that might not happen here. I'm a little disappointed, but that might be bad. <laughs> Just like that joke. That was really cringe. I'm sorry. Basement Bubba arrives an imp. Research your unique text, folks, because you all have to be enemies soon. Enemies at 45 minutes and enemies for life. No changing it. This is just the best way to get the... <laughs> God, I can't... I'm telling you, Siege is going to be ridiculous. It's just the best way to get the bonuses shared before a standard free-for-all. Is that even faster than the other ones? It seems like it is. Dang, man. Right. Wait, what? Okay, he just... He, he targeted the trees... Okay, that makes sense. I, it didn't fire, so I thought that maybe his were broken. Get your unique text, guys. So we are going to run under the assumption that they have researched all their unique text because everyone... Well, Gray doesn't have a castle yet. The Dying Wish needs to get a castle. Phoenix says I don't have the res yet. What are you talking about? You have the res. You can get your unique text. I mean, I'm okay if they want to mutually agree that they delay the deadline a little bit. That's fine, just to make sure the texts get researched. Oh, that means they need TCs then. Does anyone have more than just two TCs? Okay, there's three TCs for yellow. <laughs> I'm going to pay attention to Intervento's castle. I'm just, I'm going to look around elsewhere, but I'm just going to have that selected. Because um, I want to see when First Crusade comes in. <laughs> uh that's kind of hard for me to do because i have to click around but i okay i could still click on the mini map at least okay so economies yellow and teal is the most do i have to get my harbor one it does nothing no 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 first yes. crusades on the way first crusades on the way who has more tcs okay three there's a lot of people with three TCs. Let's just go to yellow. <laughs> Wait till he gets a million sergeants. <laughs> it should be 150, right? <laughs> it better be. We got... We got... Uh, tricked with the Tatar sheep thing. We better get sergeants from this. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Immediately, everyone's PC starts to break. Surprise! 150 sergeants in your face. Oh, that's so funny. All right. Well, not everyone has 150. Red just deletes his. Oh, what a waste. What a waste of a gift. What a jerk. I'm not going to your Christmas parties anymore if you're just going to delete my present right in your base. All right. Well, I guess they were population capped. <laughs> You know what would be really insane is uh, Bengalis because they have a unique tech where their villagers take up less pop space. And I'm pretty sure you could go like into the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of population with the Bengalis. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, players need houses right now. Gray's a castle now. I assume Gray's made it, got his researches. I guess Capture Age doesn't show the unique text, which kind of hurts. I should maybe I could maybe ask them if they can get that as power text for community games. 
Yeah, we are running on the assumption, though, that they have all been researched at this point. Siege looks very strong. Yeah, Bengali's getting 20 extra bills when they arrive to the next stage is also insane. So. And their, um, like their, um, the Pikes upgrade, where it's 20% extra attack speed, would be pretty crazy. Yes. I like, shout out to the players here. If you're watching on YouTube yes. later on, please commend them for what they've done because they're asking about it. Like, hey, everyone get their text. They're making sure that everything's planned out here because we want to have a fair game. The Siege should all have more HP. Like that Manganel does. And green really opening up a lot of space. We don't really have anyone cutting towards the middle. So it was infantry. But siege just because Celts and like scorpions have always been really strong in this game mode. Mm. Orange is slowly making a move to the middle. But then the countdown's 550 years. So like I think a couple players could be defeated by the time we really see that monument become really important. But infantry is going to be free, and stable units are going to be free. Which is maybe why Willox has dropped stables here. Because I think going Paladins is still better than going Champions. Then again, though, you get more HP and more speed because of Celts and Vikings. I'm still really excited to see if we see the Chakram for Band of the Hawk. I think that he's missing an opportunity there. All right, Orange making a move finally. Oh, Villagers, by the way, 425 HP because Supremacy was in. Three plus 60 attack. So Villagers might actually be the strongest thing in this game. But obviously they don't auto attack. Okay, so they all need to enemy each other in a moment. And then it's just a straight free-for-all. Now, the Celts did research the, their unique tech, right? I'm trying to do the math, though. 132 HP doesn't make sense. Well, he's getting other things in this castle. Okay, Willux says enemy. I mean, 132 isn't what... It normally is, and orange does enemy. Everyone else is going to enemy. Alerts are going to be all over the screen. And now Siege Onager is on the way for green, but we have the countdown finally. So here we go. I think green did both, but it doesn't... Yes. Like, I guess... The, the... What should it be, though? Like, what's a normal Onager HP? And then what's 50% time? What's a 500% increase? It should be more than 132, right? And like certain things don't pan out perfectly. I think anyone who gets Siege Engineers should be getting Siege Engineers. And whoa, wait a second. There's so many Siege Elephants in the middle. Huh. So Orange is just going for Siege Elephants, huh? FYI, 10 times mod is approximately 10 times. Some of the stats don't actually come out to be 10 times due to bugs and stuff. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. 220 HP doesn't feel that good. Do we have bloodlines researched here? Shouldn't that tack on a whole lot more? I don't see it. Oh, there is a stable. Celts don't get bloodlines, which is why I feel like their paladins are going to be quite bad. But it's free. What's fatter? As, as, as Emmy points out, one chonker elephant with a bunch of armor or this dude. The answer is this dude. I mean, he's not fatter. He's pretty buff, but woof, look at him move. Step Lancer's been researched. These trebs have 16 plus 20 range. I want to see them treb down someone's house from a mile away. Let's go. Oh, the sheep never had more HP. That's really sad. Also, I think there's a bunch of different versions of this mod, and it's like every patch there is. You have to do different things, so I imagine there's inaccuracies at times. 
There's also some versions that are bugged that people know about. But we haven't seen Elite Berserk yet. I'd like to see Elite Berserk here for blue. Just to see what the stat increase is. Onager cutting is really satisfying. Is Orange breaking rule number one and Orange is just going to try and take mid? Yes. Yeah, they did get the Hauberk upgrade. But I'm not seeing a Cavalier yet. Oh, Sergeants and Siege Onagers. And Green just killed some of his own Siege Onagers. We have the Town Bell rung. The infantry so fast here. First blood. And the Siege Onagers are eventually going to go down. As are a lot of the Sergeants. Holy moly. The movement speed of the Siege is just hilarious. Look at the armor on the Paladins from Green. And look at the Trebs! Oh my god! That's so sick! <laughs> oh, I didn't think the Trebs would be that cool. That's epic! <laughs> oh, oh my! Let's go! I mean, the armor on the Paladins is a problem. And we don't have any stable units from Teal. Oh, he's trying to make elephants, but he's housed at the moment. So I guess elephants for Malay would be free. All elephants are free, actually. I don't know if that applies to the siege elephants, but I forgot to mention Malay elephants being discounted. Teal says focus on mid, not me. But Teal, you're like in the way of the middle. That's just kind of how this goes. Um. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how everything pans out here. But I expect the free paladin thing to be kind of a problem for you. I like how... Teal's trying to make houses here, and the Trebs are just going to see them from a mile away. Okay, so Paladins, 160 HP, 14 plus 4 attack. Tons of armor, though. There's a, there's, We're talking like a 20-some armor difference between the Paladins and the Elephants. But I guess Elephants have doubled the HP. I think I would prefer the Paladins. Oh my god. The Castle Fire with Strongholds! The Castle Fire! We've got lasers! And it also heals, right? Like, so new strongholds might be super bugged. Your units might just regen immediately if you're underneath castles. So, whoa! <laughs> Machine gun onagers. Zoom. <laughs> Green says, sorry. I mean, it's just part of the game, right? It's just how it goes. We've got a lot of thumpage right now. This is a lot to take in. I guess the elephants are winning. There are more elephants. Let's see how the step lancers do. Wow, that sound is something else. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Oh god, but the trebs though, the trebs are getting them. There's too many onagers stacked. The treb revenge. What is this? How is there something new every time in this game mode, man? Okay. The green's apologizing. Teal's also getting wrecked from Orange's little fortifications there. Purple wants to go for an attack soon. And Green, I think they're trying to, to make like a little treaty here. We still have 400 years remaining, right? Like, people are going to die before that monument matters. I'm real excited to see what Red's going to eventually do, because Red's being awfully peaceful. And Gray realizes my villagers are strong. Why not just use them? And spot on. I also think that Guard Tower is something that people are missing out on right now. Like, going for lots of keeps could be incredibly strong here. Okay, so Green apologizes for attacking one person. Now goes over here. But, oh, the Scorpions! The Scorpions and the Camel Archers! Now, you have extra armor with the Paladins. But a lot of that extra armor is melee. And again, I mean, the, the armor still seems to be panning out. And green is just melting yellow's base. Villagers are going to go in after the Trebs, though, because why not? Because nothing can kill a villager. So that's a really good tactical move, is just sending villagers every now and then. But it takes a lot of micro to do that. And, well, this is mayhem. <laughs> Camel archers... 105 HP, 17 plus 3 attack. 
So it's 17 plus 3 attack versus paladins that have 14 armor. So you're doing like 6 damage, which doesn't feel that crazy. <laughs> Gray and blue with some massive fights here. They both seem to be enjoying it. Teal's upset that he's being attacked by green, but it's just... Don't take it personal. Oh, guys, are the dungeons affected? No, the dungeons aren't affected by Stronghold. What a ripoff. <laughs> that was a question that someone asked earlier, because this is... The, you can't build towers if you're Sicilians. Now, the sergeants have 640 HP, 65 attack, and more armor than the paladins. I think we found our best unit. Whoa, wait, what is that, though? So it's the difference between regular sergeant and elite. So it stacks that times 10. Viking HP bonus times 10. Speed bonus for Celts times 10. Um, trying to think through everything. Anyways, basically sergeants have a lot. Uh, sergeants are very, very chonky. Reg is chilling, by the way. Yellow, I just went to the middle. You and Teal block me from orange. This is just a classic situation. You just gotta, you just gotta kill someone. It, it, it's your only choice. Uh, I would also, I wonder if scorpions are superior here than onagers because of the bonus damage against elephants. Orange is just hanging out in the middle. He's got so many units in the middle right now. He's got almost 200 pop there, actually. And his one castle is defending for now, but now that the super trebs are showing up, he's going to start to lose his buildings. <laughs> Orange says, guys, there's lots of time. No worries. He's like, yeah, go ahead. Just fight each other. And oh, these aren't elite berserks, which is really disappointing. And oh my god, the trebs. <laughs> Okay, well, there's certainly some highlights here. Gr great job from Teal. I thought Teal was going to die, and Teal's been able to do it with the elephants. I was wrong. Three elephants, despite not having the armor, seems to pan out. Seems to work. I mean, Green has free units too, so it's not like he's going to run out of res. So this might go on for a while. Uh, Remember when Orange had a base? It's like yes. fireworks, except there's death and destruction, and a lot of people are losing their homes. Okay. Well, those sergeants are pretty insane. I want to see how they hold up against the scorps. Oh my goodness. Did they take any damage? What? Uh, I would not stack my chonky elephants in one spot. That is just asking for trouble. And oh, okay, so Mass Siege is starting to make a difference here. So Yellow, I would get out of here. I don't know where you're going. <laughs> Yellow's is coming. Well, wait, the villagers are here. That's what he meant. Villagers. And the villagers are insane. What's the HP again? 440. 63 attack. Dude, that guy's even got food in his hands. Talk about multitasking. What a beast. Okay, it takes a lot of shots, but eventually the scorpions die. <laughs> I want to see how fast units heal in here with Stronghold, but I don't think it affects Siege. <laughs> how many shots does it take to kill a sergeant? These units are <laughs> so freaking strong. Oh my goodness. Orange says, purple, I'll leave middle if you don't kill me. I mean, I don't know where you're going to go. You, the only thing you have is the middle. Look at this. There's there's two units in there, and they're able to make it out. Oh, oh, I think the chakrams could be good, though, guys. I wanted to look at their stats. Oh, goodness, I can't. Okay, three plus two attack. No, take it back. Hey, blue's going scouts. Not sure why, but he is. There he goes. Somebody kill Orange. Orange is going to try and go back to his base. Green's going to be stubborn here. He's never really going to want to leave. 
I like how there's random yellow villagers in his eco, and they're just not dying. It taking one damage per hit from these paladins, so they're just gonna be big distractions. Yeah, the chakrams are not elite. I'm disappointed we did not see elite chakram from here from Orange, but I think he's probably out of resources at this point. Yeah, he has no resources, so that's just not gonna happen. Because they would have very different stats. Whoa! <laughs> no one's made Bombard Cannons yet, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Can someone tell me what the Spanish Gunpowder Bonus is? Spanish have a Gunpowder Bonus, and it's not really something that is talked about as much. Honestly, using villagers to destroy buildings is really smart. Look at yellow go. Red is not cut to the middle yet. Red is happy to stay away from everybody. Gunpowder attacks faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how much faster? 18%? Okay. So this, I guess that applies to the Bombard Cannon here. And it should apply to other Bombard Cannons. But a lot of these civs don't actually get Bombard Cannons. Teal, this is a mistake. Take mid. I mean, it's a nice attempt. But I think that you have you have to go through Teal to get to the middle. Teal might as well just kill you. It's the right play. Should I kill or not? You should, but I can understand you feeling bad about it and not. This is ridiculous. Yeah, you go ahead and micro those two chakrams here, Orange. You're about to get defeated here, buddy. Well, he, he said he was winging it earlier. He did good with the game mode, but or, or like the start, but not the game mode because you do not want to go to the middle first and camp everything in the middle that early. And excuse me, Chakrams are still alive. Good micro from Orange. I don't know why. <laughs> I do not know why we are seeing scouts from Blue. Orange is still alive. He's just going to sit in that wood line for now. Oh, oh, you know what I wanted to check is I wanted to see the Camel Archer regen. Okay, this Camel Archer. Look how fast it's regen. It's getting attacked. Where is it? I w oh, it's right there. Okay, so the regen's pretty decent. Orange is defeated. Purple now has the middle. And, like, blue is preoccupied. Teal's preoccupied. Yellow's kind of preoccupied. And we have 188 years. I think purple could actually do it. Red, I don't want to come off as mean here. But what are you doing? <laughs> you know Onagers can cut trees, right? <laughs> I get wanting to stay out of harm's way for a while, but you really have to cut to the middle now. Because you don't even know how good your units are going to be yet. Blue says rip gray. We fought nicely. Oh, I guess Blue is maybe going to... Basement Bubba here is going to tap out. Again, I do not want them to ally at this stage. And look at these castles. Watch how fast they build in the middle. Ready? Sicilians build castles faster. Whoop! And wait for it, wait for it. Whoop! It's the way to do it. He's got castles, he's got dungeons, and sergeants are really strong. Green needs to be defeated soon so Teal can focus on the middle. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, and Red needs to get a move on here. And he needs to Onager cut towards the middle and make a path for himself. I'm really excited to see the Bombard Cannons, but I'm not in love with the fact that Red has so many resources in a game where everything's basically free. I mean, not everything, obviously, but still. And he just doesn't have an ar a large army count at the moment. He's playing extremely safe and it might come back to be a bummer at the end but i mean pizza is always a safe choice as far as meals are concerned so it would make sense oh you know what else i didn't think about spanish build faster so with spanish building faster um that would affect everybody here as well also there's a sergeant healing because of strongholds it's not that insane but it is still something. Okay. 
So, GG to Green, who's trying to make Paladins, but doesn't have population space. Green says never, which is kind of sad because I really want Teal to be able to go middle. Green's taking out all the Trebs and just delaying the inevitable. But, you know, it's pride. Y you attack me, I'll do what I can to stop you from winning. That's kind of interesting. Teal, help versus purple. He is strong and killing me. He will come for you next. Here comes red. And red's going to be massing paladins. Paladins are outmatched against the sergeants, I think. I'm concerned. But are these games ever really about a close finish to the end? I mean, if red deleted his whole economy, if he got rid of all, like, you don't need a single farm, pretty much. But then you could maybe have some pop space. And purple sending units in towards Teal. Teal has mastered the strategy of asking others to stop. Um, tried that earlier with green and then ended up having to fight green anyways. <laughs> Again, the sergeants have 600 HP. And Intervento, the creator of the Sergeant, says, in the words of a famous boy band, tell me why. Okay. Um, I'm not going to create my own lyrics, but I was super tempted. Come on, Red. You got this pizza. You got it. Come on. Oh, God. They're singing this song now. Ain't nothing but a heartache. I can come swarm you with elephants if you like. No, you ruined it. Um, Come on, Red. Make a move. 90 years. Here come the Paladins. Now, I don't think he knows how bad this is going to be because he hasn't really fought up to this point. Oh, and it's dark. True. He doesn't know the fighting because it's darkness. Ay, 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 ay. This is going to be an easy victory for Purple. Unless Purple throws, right? It's going to be an easy victory. Red doesn't realize how bad this looks right now. And, and I don't think Red realizes he's not even spending food to make his stable units. Everyone kill Perp. 80 years left. Okay, here goes Red. We do have some traps from Teal, but they're getting sniped by Sergeants, which is an issue. Um, Here come the cannons. I'm excited for this moment. Let's see. Cannons on the castle. Boom, 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 boom. I don't remember there being a castle. Red resets the countdown, proving us all wrong, sort of, kind of. And that's really important because now everyone has been alerted to the fact that purple's a problem. Holy crap, I love these cannons! <laughs> this is actually possible! Dang! Man, in 2023, you know, military's really changed. You know, back in my day, it took at least you know, eight seconds for the cannonball to arrive to its target. Oh, God. Well, you, you're still... Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> he killed his own units. That's fine. It's fine. All right, he didn't need those cannons. Those cannons weren't really that good anyhow. Um. Well. It's still a big problem. These sergeants are just owning all the time. Everywhere you look, there's just random purple units destroying. Blue's still in the game, but he never even researched light cap. I, Basement Bubba, I lost faith in you a long time ago, but I love your energy, okay? Um, Vikings do get light caps, so I consider it. But yeah, anyways. Here comes red. Onagers, paladins. That seems to be the plan. 70 years remaining. And Teal, I mean, Green, <laughs> Willox is like, I'm not going to win this game, so I'm not going to let you win this game. He's just using these stupid villagers to take out all of Teal's buildings. And it works so well because Supremacy is so strong and the elephants are so slow. And I think Teal's literally just calling it. He's like, yeah, I don't think we could do anything against this. It's like everyone who needs to fight for the middle right now is fighting against players they didn't like from earlier or they are up against random sergeants or villagers the choke point's going to be an issue here for red he has the numbers but he's going to have to cram his unit through there he's got 160 army now though so he's hoping that he could use these paladins 
<laughs> he has a lot of res. This is the he used the correct game plan for a normal forest nothing game, but he didn't realize how cheap the units were when he was booming up. I think. Mm. Please don't kill my farm, says Yellow. Okay, it's fair. Mateel doesn't. He's trying to get stables up somewhere to help out in the middle. 40 years remaining. Let's see if sheer numbers can do it. Look at the HP. Like, that's the problem. We have 90 units versus 50, and purple still has so much more HP. Maybe bomber cannons could do it because of the damage output. Like, I think scorpions would be perfect because of the pass-through damage. But we do not have scorpions here. And... There's always, like, one combination in these modes that seems incredibly strong. And I think it was infantry in this one, guys. It wasn't Siege. It wasn't Scorpions. It wasn't even Cav. Infantry. Because of how much HP the Sergeants can get. And the speed. That's pretty cool, though, because infantry isn't normally that strong. And Yellow's trying to figure out what kills these Sergeants. I'm not really sure. Conquistadors look pretty strong. 36 attack. If you had a lot of conks, it could be good. Maybe a combination there. First time we saw a Conquistador. And Teal says, I don't know, and attack the middle. Maybe they could get a reset. Yellow's desperate. Gonna bring Vils. Honestly, the tactic of... Oh, the walls are there. You gotta cut the trees. The tactic of just using villagers against all the buildings could be really good. Here comes Blue. He's like, crap, T90's gonna be so upset with me that I didn't go after the middle in the King of the Hill game. Don't worry, I didn't notice it. Here comes Green. Also going for the buildings. We've got three years now. Make it two years. Purple just needs one unit in the middle to control it. And that is gonna be the end of the game. Wow. Most created unit for Purple. 154. Sergeants. Is that even right? Is that accurate? He only had 154. Let me look at his KD. What? What? It was that ridiculous? I didn't know it was that bad. Like, I knew they took forever to die, but I didn't realize how long they were surviving. And I'm guessing maybe the ones that hopped out of the initial TCs didn't get counted, right? Because that was 150. I'm pretty sure he produced more than what would that have been? Like seven? What, what was the number again? Four. Still, I mean, dang. So it, it really was a combination of infantry that did it. I do think that the key in this game mode is experimenting with your unit types. Um, we didn't see elite berserk right i would have liked to have seen that because remember once you get elite however much hp or an attack increase there is from your standard to elite is tacked on times 10 so i, I would have wanted to see elite berserk if possible um like elite keshik just like a couple different unit types we didn't really see from the players in, in some areas red i think learned the lesson of you know maybe i don't need to boom up and collect more resources than everyone because it actually it wasn't more than anyone actually but um, I don't need this much gold. I don't need this much food because, oh, wait, stable units are actually free. Infantry was actually free. So uh, people are asking why sergeants were so strong. So remember the thing, this thing about the sergeant. It is a feudal unit. And then there's a stat increase. It's, a, it's really complicated. Here, question. Is there a stat increase if, let's say, I make five sergeants in feudal? I think they're, what, 50 HP? But then I make it to Castle Age. Does it automatically, just by making it to Castle Age, increase the stat of the Sergeant? Because I think it does. And then there's another increase when you go from Standard Sergeant to Elite. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure the game is designed so when you make it to Castle, you get a few more stats. And I think that's why it's stacked, because it's basically like two separate instances in the game where the stats on the sergeant get boosted. And so two separate instances of 10 times bonus. Um, 
because there's no way like cast laid sergeants are still 50 HP. I think it goes up significantly. Pizza says my paladin still cost eight gold still, and I thought it might be a long game. I didn't expect the sergeants and should have been in the middle earlier. Yeah, well, I think the main problem then too, Pizza, is you just didn't know, right? Like that's, you, you kind of got to experience the world and see what other people are doing to really know what to experiment with. Your tactic was sound. You could have made a lot of paladins on eight gold apiece with your 22,000 gold. You could have made a lot of paladins there. Um, but yeah, also combined with that, you also have the Viking bonus where Viking infantry gets more HP. And then the Kelp movement speed, right? And then they... Well, I guess sergeants wouldn't cost nothing because it's not militia line. So, never mind. But yeah, um, I thought it was still fun. It, it's meant to be ridiculous, right? Someone wants to see a sergeant stats? Sure, sure, sure. Um, 640. But again, let me just go, like, when were there sergeants first on the map? Oh, I know we didn't see one in Feudal. I guess I should just pull up the tech tree for this. Okay, so at this stage of the game, they're not elite yet, and it's 105. Uh, I don't know. Now I'm confusing myself. There, dev there has to be a stat increase from the Feudal Age. Ver yeah, there there's an attack increase, too. But I don't think that's calculated. Because the base attack of a Feudal Age Sergeant is 5. And this Sergeant sitting here is at 8. So I think on paper my theory is correct, but in implementation, that stat increase from Feudal to Castle, that might not stack altogether. Or maybe it, it gets tacked on when Elite comes in or something. I would have to look. But as it was explained before, some things kind of click, some other things don't. Uh, it was still a very fun game. Thank you all the players for playing. Uh, my favorite thing in this game, and people in the YouTube comments can let me know their favorite, because eventually we're going to try and replicate like the coolest thing. I love the bomber cannons. I want to see Spanish bomber cannon firing speed in combination with like Bohemians and Ethiopians on bomber cannons. That'd be really cool. Also, the Onagers was cool, but we kind of seen the Onagers before because we've seen Celts. It still felt very different, though, so. But I'm trying to think of all the Bombard Cannon bonuses. Turks for range, too? <laughs> what else are we missing? Turks for range and HP. Everyone forgets Turks get more HP as well. Burgundians for attack. Celts, because Siege fires faster, too? Monday. Would that work? I'm pretty sure the Celt bonus was probably at play here as well. What other civs come to mind? What what am I missing here? Mm. Anyways, I mean, I think eventually the game plan is going to be we want this unit type to be as obnoxious as possible. Let's try and stack it and see what it looks like. But I like the random because we kind of get surprised and every game is a little different and it takes some creativity and figuring things out. So, oh yeah, Portuguese as well. Yeah, that would be great. Um... And Mongols for drill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if that works. I, I think it's it would work because it's Siege Workshop units. So there's like our eight sieves right there.